Oh, here's a good one. Shoot. My therapist told me to let go of my anger by writing letters to people I hate and then burning them. Felt pretty good to begin with, but now I don't know what to do with the letters. <laughs> that was pretty bad. Oh god, this one's worse. Have you heard about the new craze where guys bedazzle their testicles? No. It's pretty nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God's sake. Is that actually a thing? What, bedazzling your balls? Uh, no, no, no. Um, burning letters to people we hate. It sounds like a thing, like something therapeutic. Mm, could be. I don't know how much good it would do, though. Yeah, but, like, surely it must do some good. It just... It sounds like a good way of getting rid of old shit. I don't know. Do it if you want. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Didn't mean to get so into it. Yeah, it's uh, all good. Yeah. Oh shit, I gotta go. You can't stay five more minutes. Ah, uh, you know how my dad is. I'll see you at school tomorrow though, yeah? There's been a lot of stuff that's reminded me of you lately. I think I got it that time. Yeah, mate, that's going to be the shittest way of taking a selfie possible. Mate, I like the vintage aesthetic. That's not pretentious at all. Oh, thanks, dickhead. Hey, you ready to go? Yeah, sounds good. You guys not coming with us? Oh, no, nah, we're going to get ice cream. And then go forward from there. Stop. <clears throat> well... I could go for some ice cream. What do you guys think? I'm not really hungry. Yeah, but we can still go to... Never mind. Whatever. Well, see ya. I'm sorry, was it actually a dick move for me to say something? Yeah. They're a fucking couple, man. They're not always going to be around us. Yeah, but they're always at the fucking annoying stage. You know, a couple of them where they have to make a whole big thing out of it. Cool, eh? Um, it don't really bother me. Whatever. I could use a drink. Do you want to join me for that or are you just going to moan at me like fucking idiots? It's the middle of the day. Yeah, but it's a Friday. I'm not really feeling it. Me neither. Do you at least want to come to shop with me? Sure. Don't ask me for money though. I don't always ask you for money. He's right. Sometimes he asks me. Fuck off. I don't need your money. Because... Mm. Fuck's sake. Isn't it? Um, I might need some money. Is this okay? Yeah, it's fine. Cool. She's just not sure right now. All of this is really new to her, and frankly, you can come on a little strong at times. I'm not trying to be. That's not the point. She feels as if you're coming on too strong. That's what you've got to pay attention to. I get that. The last thing I want to do is make her uncomfortable, but what do I do going forward? Ease back a little. Let her take a bit of the lead. And what if she doesn't? Then there's nothing you can do about it. Just the way things are. <laughs> Sorry, you're right. Alex wants to know when you're available for the marathon. Um, yeah, um, I'm not doing anything all week, so anytime should be fine. Anytime should be fine. Cool, got it. Is. Yeah. What's up? Yeah. You. Never mind. You know you really ought to think of something to say sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Hey, boy. George. Yeah, what's up, man? Nothing 
been much, uh, I've been much made look. Bit of an awkward question, but you and Izzy, close friends. Yeah. Okay, okay. Follow up question. She's straight, is she, is she single? She's bi and yes. I take it you're asking because you want to do what you want to do, I guess. Should I say anything specific or? Wait, you're the one asking her out, right? You must have thought this through. Do you even know that one? That's why I was asking you. Okay. Clearly you're not help then. Um, no, no, I'm not. Fine, I guess I'll just do it then. Seems like a lot of the same things are happening over again. And when I say the same things, I mean the exact same things, like to a T. It's a little heavier than what I usually listen to. It's not bad. I'm just not a metal person. It's not metal, it's garage rock. The difference being? Metal is more screamy, whereas garage rock is more just about jamming out. To be honest, I feel as if you know metal a little better. Seems right up your alley. Come on, I'm that edgy. You sure about that, buddy? Fuck off. Anyway, you'll get more use out of it than I will. It's just taking up space at my house. Plus, just seem fitting, you know? What do you mean? Well, whenever something like this goes wrong for me, listening to something fun or upbeat always helps. Yeah, I tried that a while back. Listen to the Beatles' Red Album. <laughs> that was a terrible idea, because I know for a fact she doesn't love me. No, no, no. <laughs> hey, it's not the worst idea. After a while, it might just help you lighten up. Something hard, but not too edgy. I don't know. Oh, I think I'd rather just stick with the sad shit, at least for now. I'm not sure how that's working out for you. I mean, how long do you think until you stop breathing? I don't know. Whenever someone else comes along or get over, you know, it's, it's going to happen eventually, right? I don't know. At the very least, can you try and keep your opinions to yourself? Harriet and Walter are pretty aware you're not a fan of them being together. Shit. Have they said something? Of course they are. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, they should stop being an annoying couple. 
Walt is just a twat these days. No, he's not. You're just pissed off. Well, fuck off. What, what do you want me to be? Not this. This shit's starting to spread. Well, do you want me to go over there and say sorry? Not sure if that'll do you much good. I think the best course of action at this point would be to just wait it out and hope they don't hate you. It's a work in progress for now. What do you think of the song? Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah? Is it good enough for you to, you know, want it? What, the record? Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't need any more. I'm just... I, I'm getting rid of old stuff. I don't have a record player, Paulie. Why don't you just, I don't know, chuck it on your wall? Yeah, be trendy. <sighs> I'm not big on decorating my room like that. Well then, do you know anyone that would? If you're so eager to get rid of it, why not just throw it away? Because I don't want to waste it. See you around. Same thing anyone would do. Buy stocks at Apple and Microsoft and become a trillionaire. Oh, anyone would buy Microsoft stock or kill Hitler. Think of something creative. <laughs> what would you do? Not fuck up with Harry yet? <laughs> <laughs> fuck off! Calm down, mate. It's a joke. Uh, yeah, it's not very funny, though, is it? It's kind of funny. Cheers. I'm sure by this point I've just become another running joke between everyone. Makes sense. If I were in their position, I'd probably do the same. Full house. Fuck! Mm, that's a good sign. What you got? <sighs> Nothing. Well, that was shit. Why are you staying that long? Well, because that at the beginning got me hoping for a straight. Yeah, that was a terrible idea. Well, I just started playing. We've been playing for a while, Paulie. Well, get off my fucking case. I don't have enough. Just throw in what you have. That will count. Fuck it. You first. Straight bitch. Or down. <laughs> what about you? Straight flush. Wait, what the fuck? No, my straight's higher than yours. Yeah, but all the numbers are a matching suit on mine. It's super rare. I win, bitch. <laughs> what? Yeah. It'd be like that sometimes. Fuck me. You know you could be a little less shitty when I'm just trying to learn how to play. Will you calm down? We're just messing around. Who is that like going after you or some shit? Yeah, but it is always me, isn't it? I'm always the go-to guy to fuck with. Maybe because it's a little funny to see you get so bitchy about this. You're the only one who reacts to shit this way. Oh, <laughs> come on. I don't try to be. But if you dickheads keep piling on me like this, it's a little hard to take it in my fucking stride. So that's how you feel. Why do you even hang around us? Honestly! Are you being serious right now? I actually like you guys. I trust you out of everyone else and you fuck me around like this. What am I supposed to do? 
despite everything, I actually trust you, and I probably still will for some stupid reason, because I'm fucking stupid. And you know that by now, Blue. You know that by now. See yourself, I guess. You know, despite everything, I still think about the fun times we had. Terrible. And then they're going to eat me. It's kind of hard not to enjoy that. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> but fuck if I don't think about everything else as well. Do you see this writing? Do you know what it means? Hospitality. And you can't piss on hospitality. I won't allow it! What are you going to do to me, Daddy? Tighten my belt by one loop so I don't feel hunger pains. And your sister and mother will have to do likewise. Okay, Joshua. You want to get rough with me? You want to show me that you don't like the choice of this house for our vacation by going on a hunger strike? Well, I'll accept the challenge. But just remember, when I was your age, I really did suffer from hunger. We'll see who gets through this. Jesus. Oh, I thought you were upstairs. I was just looking for you. What are you doing? Nothing. I just, just needed to get down for a bit, that's all. Is the film still going? Yeah, but I paused it. I had a feeling you'd uh, want to see the end. No, no, no. I've, I've seen it before. You can... Yeah, just play to the end. It's fine. Okay. You alright? Yeah. Yeah, I just, just needed a moment. Good. But I'm worried. Just wanted to make sure. Thanks. have to say. No. Are you alright, Paulie? You know, all you have to do is ask if I'm alright. You're used to this kind of thing, Paulie. You'll what be the fine. fuck is your problem? <laughs> I'm not doing this, Paulie. Right, that's not a fucking answer. I can't be bothered to argue with you, especially when you're drunk as hell. Oh. I'd actually like to enjoy this party, you know. <laughs> Just tell me what to do. To stop, why you don't like me, and I'll fucking do it. I've already told you, Paulie. I told you so many fucking times. You shouldn't need my direction on how to improve. You're supposed to do it yourself. You act all self-aware about how terrible you are, but you do nothing to fix it. And then you have the nerve to go and make it my problem. Fuck! Oh, fuck, why'd I do that? <laughs> Good question. Uh, what the fuck was that? What do you think? Oh, I thought it was pretty fucking obvious by now. It's been an experience, that's for sure. If I ever see Blue again, I'd like to think it'd be a pleasant experience, but then again, why would it be? Maybe it was our fault. <laughs> Who knows? Either way, I'm not going to fuck things up the same way you did. May we never meet again.
Hey, um, is George not here? No, he's upstairs. Oh, okay. You feeling any better? Oh, I told you I was fine. <laughs> you really think I fall for that? No, but <laughs> I was hoping. Well, you haven't answered my question. <laughs> yeah, I haven't. Honestly, yeah, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. That's good.